Hi, YouTuber fans, Steaming fans, cryptocurrency fans. It's your boy, Britt VR, and we're back on the planet. So we have Priya right here from Microsoft. She was here to present about blockchain network with the oil and gas companies. And I'm just here to ask you a couple of questions. All right. Now, most of the information that I heard from you guys about the cloud, but what are you guys' main Strength. concepts? Yeah, absolutely. No, that's a really good question. Um, you know, I was talking about the fact that blockchain is, uh, as a concept is just kind of getting started, right? Uh, we're still at like level zero right now as opposed mm -hmm. to 2.0 or 3.0. And so I think the way I like to look at it is we are looking at it from a collaborative standpoint. And so a lot of the companies that we're working with, whether it's startups or whether it's uh, Ethereum, uh, a lot of these uh, companies that we're working with, it's much more of a collaborative effort. Um, so. What we try to focus on is things like how do we make this enterprise great. Um, one of the things that we've tried to do is establish many relationships uh, in co consortiums, IC3, for example. Um, we've also uh, open sourced a lot of our code. A lot of the platform is open source and uh, very configurable, uh, flexible. Um, and what we've done is added in Cocoa Framework, uh, which is super helpful for you to be able to make this extensive. Uh, mm -hmm. We also added this concept of cripplets, which asks you to um, you know, have this consortium that validates um, a lot of the transactions that are taking place. So super cool stuff. And of course, the biggest thing that we're trying to do is look, you're not going to have blockchain just in the vacuum, right? So you're going to have probably some amount of um, interaction with the rest of your IT staff. Uh, it is a stack that we're talking about here. So everything from you know, your applications, whether it's mobile or web, it might even be load balancing network, you might have um, your data and analytics, data science, visualization, all those capabilities, IoT, which is going to be super useful in uh, oil and gas, all of those capabilities need to come together. And guess what? Where are you living most of your time? You're living in your business productivity apps. So think email, Outlook, um, maybe Skype, uh, maybe Teams, uh, Slack, either one of those, right? And so. If you're on Microsoft right there, then it makes it super easy to communicate. But if you're not, again, uh, we're an open platform, so we allow you to customize as much as possible. And that's okay. what we're really after, is we're working to the developer, and this is for the people by the people. Okay. Um, another question I have for you. I remember reading about Azure maybe like a year, a year and a half ago on uh, Cointelegraph, and I was like, I'm sitting here watching you present this to these companies. Um, could you... Uh, Explain to me uh, the process of getting that together. And from what I saw, it looks like it takes like 15 minutes to set up everything. Um, how happy are the, are the customers about setting up their blockchain uh, information so quickly? That is a brilliant question. So um, today we just had uh, the chief data scientist, Mike Allen, mm -hmm. talk a little bit about why it made sense for an oil and gas company like Alvin right. to actually use the cloud. Uh, and a lot of the, the considerations are really around scale. He mentioned specifically on blockchain, it is very easy for you to set up kind of a you know data center of your own in your living room um, just for blockchain. It's heavily compute. And at that point, you really, especially if it's enterprise grade, you really want to be able to use and leverage uh, scalability. And you want to be able to have absolute trust in mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the base that you're using for blockchain. So that might be Ethereum. Uh, you want to make sure that it's, um, the records are immutable. Um, it's a distributed ledger. So all those concepts are what make it very interesting. And that's what we worked on with a lot of these partnerships that we have. Um, what we have is blockchain as a service. We've made it super simple. So typically um, in the industry, it takes about uh, three to six months that's what i heard in the mm -hmm. audience uh, for them to actually set this thing up okay. to work with blockchain we've reduced that down to 15 minutes to get up and Crazy. one click running we offer some um, solutions uh, sample solutions that you can build around supply chain as well um, or escrow things of that nature um, so it's really cool the way smart contracts have have evolved yeah. and we're able to basically codify a lot of these these contracts uh, very cool stuff that's going on in the industry mm -hmm. and I'm just super excited because we're right at the cusp, right? This is like Web 2.0 for me, getting it right. <laughs> so 
So okay. super excited. Thank you. All right, this is the last question. It's probably going to be something just basically about cryptocurrency. What's your favorite cryptocurrency? If somebody give it to you right now, what would you want? Yeah, I think I'd still go with Bitcoin just because okay. I can exchange it pretty quickly for an apartment in uh, <laughs> and uh, Abu Dhabi if I wanted to or um, the UAE. That's what I've seen so far, which is the first that I've seen. So pretty cool. All right. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. All right.